EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for June 15th, 2023. It is Thursday. The Thursday video forecast is proudly sponsored by North Penn Car Wash in Lansdale, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Keep your vehicle looking great all the time and stop wasting your money on those costly individual washes with North Penn Car Wash's Unlimited Car Wash Club. You can join at a very low price starting at just $13.95 per month, and it's the only place where weather doesn't matter. We've had some rain finally just recently, and it looks like we're going to have a more active pattern coming up and continuing for a bit. So how many times did you just get done washing your car only to have it rain the next day and ruin it, right? Well, with North Penn Car Wash is Unlimited Car Wash Club. You don't have to break the bank to keep your vehicle clean. Just stop by as often as you like within the calendar month to get a fresh wash for that one low monthly rate. They are North Penn Car Wash 986, Sumney Town Pike in Lansdale, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Proud sponsors of the Thursday video forecast. So we have an in-between day. I told you we're going to have these like every other day. We have these uh, back and forth stuff, at least for the work week. And that's no different today. We have a, a mostly sunny skies expected today. Uh, I did hear some grumbling about some, uh, some wildfire smoke today. I'm going to squash that rumor right now uh, because this is vertically integrated uh, stuff that's going to be coming in today. Yes, they will have several thousand feet above the ground. And I mean several thousand feet of the ground. You will have some increase in, in haze, but it's going to be very light. These numbers are not very high. This is uh, vertically in integrated smoke. It is not at the surface. How do I know that? Well, I go to the surface and there's nothing, nothing at all. So you're not going to smell it. And it's not going to be a real big deal today. Uh, some people are making a big deal. It is not a big deal. Uh, you might have, if you get out here in central PA, uh, as I go back to, let me just change this here. If we go back to central PA, you could have some vibrant sunsets. This is 8 o'clock, okay, in the evening. Some vibrant sunsets in a few spots uh, with some of the streaming and, uh, you know, or sunsets, I should say. So for vibrant sunsets in association with this. Uh, but that's it, okay? Uh, they're not really much of a haze today, a little bit, but I mean, you won't really be able to notice what values these low. So not a real big deal there. Uh, and then the overnight tonight, we're going to have a partly cloudy skies in the evening that's going to become uh, mostly cloudy overnight with a chance for a few showers later at night coming in. Uh, here is uh, the reason why this is happening. Here's today's upper level low. That's moving away uh, today. It's all the way up here in uh, New England. But we have another one coming in here on Friday. This this is uh, this is Friday afternoon. It's sitting right here over top of the region. So an upper level trough, upper level low associated with this upper level trough that goes like this, right? So that's sitting over the region on Friday. So we have another chance, kind of like today, almost mirroring today in a lot of ways, just a little bit further south in terms of the axis of precipitation. It's going to be yesterday was a little bit more concentrated in our northern areas. I think it's going to be a little bit more concentrated central and southern areas here on Friday. And then this is going to be slow to move out. It kind of sits and digs. So this goes into Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. It's not that far off the coast. So here's the upper level low here on Saturday afternoon. You're going to have some wraparound around this, uh, looks like, coming in on uh, on Saturday. So Saturday is no longer just a dry day. I think you have the opportunity for some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon, uh, most notably, but we'll get into better timing as we get a little bit closer with that. Sunday is still, Father's Day, still dry and mostly sunny and very warm. Okay, so let's get to the, the uh, NAM High Res Future Simulator Radar. And this is starting off overnight tonight and moving this forward. So you see a few showers starting to pop in central PA. This is 4 o'clock in the morning. We move this forward. You get some showers going into the morning hours on Friday. Then we get in the afternoon, much like yesterday, scattered thunderstorms develop. Uh, yesterday was generally these areas up here moving into northern New Jersey like this. These areas uh, um, on Friday anyway, we're expecting it to be a little bit further south of this axis and moving through. So it's going to be a little bit further south in terms of placement, uh, it looks like here for Friday. Not saying you can't get a storm up here, obviously, but the concentration is going to be further south. Uh, with these thunderstorms coming in on Friday afternoon, and then much like uh, what happened uh, yesterday, you're going to have some maybe uh, some showers and, and storms still continuing before this finally uh, starts drifting eastward. This has it going all the way into Saturday morning here, so we have to watch this. Saturday might turn out to be a little bit worse than we originally thought. It's already trending in that direction, and we'll see where it goes here in the next couple of days where you could be like a mostly cloudy day with on and off scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day here on Saturday because, again, this is not really in a hurry to move away here on Saturday until we get to Sunday. And we can move to Sunday here, as you can see. There's Sunday. It's all the way up in New England. There's no upper-level influence here for Sunday, and the models don't have that either. So here is a look at Friday on the global models. 
uh, with the scattered showers and thunderstorms that I just showed you. And this kind of lingers around just offshore. So this is Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, you see that wraparound right there. So the low is just offshore, uh, sitting right about here. And you get this wraparound around that low pressure that could give you these scattered showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. I don't give you the idea it's going to be a washout just yet until we get a little bit closer. Next video of a better, better uh, snapshot of what Saturday looks like. It very well could be, but I don't want to go there yet. We'll uh, see what the next uh, video has for Saturday. But uh, Friday certainly is uh, what I just showed you. And then uh, here's Sunday. Sunday's clear. Mostly sunny skies. Uh, back into the 80s for highs here on Sunday. And then on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we have the system off to our south. It's going to be lurking pretty much all week. Okay. Uh, could be, a, you know, shower storm here on Monday would be isolated. Tuesday, you get the system still hanging down here, but it's starting to spread some some moisture a little bit further north. Here's that center of the low pressure, but you see up the coast here, there's that, there's that uh, precipitation coming a little bit closer. So Tuesday might be a little bit better chance, at least for our southern areas, to see some activity, and more so on Wednesdays. This comes up even farther. So we'll see uh, how this transpires next week, but it looks like you'd have several days, several rounds of showers and storms. This will go through Thursday, maybe even Friday of next week. Um, so some of these models are pretty wet from here next week with the near daily chances of isolated or scattered thunderstorms Monday through Friday. But every one of those days are not going to be wet in your area. Some areas will have a better chance than others. Right now, it looks like southern areas have the best opportunity. But again, uh, looking ahead at this lead time, a lot of things can change. We still want to work on Saturday yet and see how that plays out exactly. And we'll do so in the next video for Friday. Omni PAWA meteorologist Bobby Marcher status your outlook for June 15th. Almost forgot the day. June 15th, 2023. Have a great Thursday.